Great start to the third inning. Here's Beltre. And he hammers one. Caught by Simmons. And it's thrown back to first in time. That one might get another look. Yeah, I, and I think that uh, you know, looking back at that play, I'm, I'm not sure that the first base umpire, Mike Malinsky, was happy with his call right after he made it. He looked over to uh, Jeff Bannister and, and kind of said, okay, I know what you're going to do, and just kind of hung his head. So I, I think that he knows he might have misjudged I, that, that, my death. And uh, Jeff will get the information from Steve Bouchel, the, uh, the bench coach, who will get the information from up on, uh, on high from uh, Bobby Jones and Adam Brenner. And they're going to take a look at it. I don't know, naked eye, that, that, that certainly seemed like Rugnet was back there ahead of it. Yeah, and the one thing you have to keep in mind, I think, Dave, is that the call on the field was out, and you have to have clear and convincing evidence to the contrary to overturn that. So sometimes it's not, you know, it may, for all intents and purposes, appear to be clear and convincing, but if the, if the people back in New York at the replay command center don't see it that way, not a thing you can do about it. They're going to err on the side of, the call made on the field if they think that there's any doubt at all. So they're looking back at Chelsea Market. And that'll be a big call. And the fans here at Angel Stadium got a look on the big board out there in right field. And you heard a few oohs and uh uh-ohs. So they didn't feel that uh, there was any problem in overturning that call. And Rugnet knew it, too. I mean, he, he, he put the hand up initially, pointed into the dugout, say, yeah, no, no, no. Take another look at that one. <laughs> I'm not sure that, that, that a player's reaction is always the no, way you well, would go. I, you know, most guys are going to say, hey, I beat the throw or, or I beat the player or what have you. But uh, at that one, it certainly looks like that, that Odor had it right. They do have additional looks, different camera angles back in New York that we don't necessarily have in our broadcast. So they have plenty of other ways to evaluate the call. But, boy, a, a big call here because you you go from potentially a man at third, two out, or men on the corners, only one out with Mitch Moreland coming up. I'm taking a long look at it. I know that. So it must not be as cut and dried either way, yeah. as I surmised. We go back to what you were saying earlier, which is if you don't have a good good enough replay that can right. definitively show that Odor was indeed safe, then there's nothing you can do but yep. stick with the call on the field. That's and right. They're obviously searching. Trying to come up with something. The one I just saw on the scoreboard looked like Odor got his hand in there before the butt glove was impacted by the ball. But again, that's up on the scoreboard. That's not. Well, here we go. We'll get our ruling. And indeed, safe is the call. Yep. 